Hello everyone, I'm Sheldon Barlett Rumor and this is it. Welcome back to This Is It TV. I have a lovely guest for all of you. I can't wait for her to introduce herself, her first and last name and name of her business. Hello, Francesca Zampaglione Zampaglione is the phonetic pronunciation and my business is the State Angels Group. Okay, well, we're gonna get involved. We're gonna get involved. I wanna know everything about. So you have been on the show before. I have. One of my favorite people. And now she has <laughs> this amazing venture and I want her to share it with all of you. What is the nature of this business? Well, thank you, Chelan. It's such an honor to be back with you. Um, the nature of the business is to work with families who have lost someone and need help going through their belongings. Oh, wow. So I will tell you my calling, this calling started with a phone call. Yeah. As I was converting closets for corporate women, the business that I've shared on this show before, yeah. I got an interesting phone call to help out a family who had lost their mother and didn't know um, how to go through her things, what to do with their thing, her things, what was valuable and how to just go through it. They were emotionally paralyzed yeah. and they didn't live close to the home. I will tell you that the son lives on the West Coast and the yeah. daughter lives in New York. So nowhere near their childhood home. So Cheldon, after working with this family for about four hours, I got the inclination that it had been longer than a year or two. So I was brave enough to ask the question, how yeah. long has it been? How long ago did your mother pass? I will share with you that it was over a decade. It and was the stuff over, was just there. Not touched, not touched, yeah. So my heart went out to them and then immediately I thought, oh my gosh, there's got to be other families that oh, are experiencing geez. this. I experienced it when I lost my mother. I went through yeah. her things. Again, I help people go through their things, right? Yes. And determine value and resell and let's, you know, let's donate this to charity. There's a wonderful yeah. charity who would love this. So it was, I was kind of doing it, but this, is, this was a different calling. This yeah. was totally a different calling. Yeah. So I started to talk to people about it, right? I started transitioning my other business out and started talking about this more and more. Wow. So this has become my life force and, wow. um, and meeting with, you know, people like great people like you to spread the word yes. that, you know what, sometimes people just need a helping hand yes. and it could be one room or it could be an entire property. So I'm talking and building resources and gathering a team so that, for example, this particular case study, if you will, when they're ready to turn the house over, by the way, we still have work to do there. Yeah. And because sure. of COVID, we've had to postpone the finishing it. So hopefully this summer we will wrap that up and move that property forward and they can move on. Right. So it's just it's just an amazing experience to yeah. reach out to people and and help people with this particular issue. Yeah, no, I think that this is, I mean, well, one, congratulations on the pivot. You know, I, I love the journey of entrepreneurism in a way, you know, like very few people do. And I'm, I'm obsessed with the why and the void and the void that you're filling and the uniqueness of this is so brilliant because it is, it's an emotional connection when you have lost someone of in any stage, needless to say a parent, right? Most likely you were not living in that same home. You are not navigating the space. You don't know how he or she worked, you know, in their day to day. So where things lived, whether it be pills or clothing or memorabilia or what have you. So you're going at it blind, you know, as, as the child, but to have a third party that, you know, understands and empathizes but doesn't necessarily have an emotional connection um, right. to each, to each, you know, to each garment, to each, you know, item, but can obviously navigate the organizational space. I think it's just really, really, really unique. Whether you haven't seen your parents or been in that home or the, the parent had passed for 10 years or six months ago, um, right. I think that there's a real significant void there. So I want to understand the process because I know that there's probably a number of people out there that are that are there that are saying, okay, my goodness, my aunt, my mom, what have you, right. we have all of these things. How do you go about doing it? Do you meet with them? Is it a consultation? Do you walk through the space? How do you start the dialogue and or the relationship? 
That's a great question. So the dialogue, you know, this person may have heard about me through their state attorney. I'm making a number of connections with the state attorneys um, through word of mouth. I believe that that's how this business is going to grow organically. Yeah. Um, and it comes from a place of compassion and care. Yeah. So it'll start with an initial phone call conversation. I had one yesterday. She recently lost her mother and um, she was stuck as to where to start. So yeah. I just guided her on the phone and I said, well, as executor, she's the executor of her mother's estate, let's start with those items that your mother wanted certain people to have. So you don't really, you don't really want me there yet until that has been taken care of, until everybody's comfortable that, you know, this was mom's and I want yep. to have this and, you know, mother wanted me to have this. So I talk with them through that process. And then when they're ready, then I will visit. We can do an initial Zoom consultation, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Right. And then, yes, it's in order for me to figure out the pricing structure. Yeah. And I have three packages, by the way. Okay. They, can, they can work with me as little as they want or as much. So I can help them you know, go through the memories and treasures. Yeah. I can help them go through the memories and treasures and find parties to allocate and distribute and donate. Okay. And then the third and highest level of service is, is that um, you know, organizing, but also... For example, this particular home, I can serve as their liaison for, with their realtor, with their painter, with their house cleaner, because as I said, the, the person lives on the West Coast and in New York, but they need somebody there to turn that property over. Right. So then I'm their trusted um, advisor to help them sell the property as well. So that's the highest level of service. And then, wow. you know, with my accounting background, right. I can also, you know, organize and keep the receipts and then help them as they collect all the information necessary to officially settle the estate. Wow. Wow. I mean, I think that wonderful. First of all, I think that this is such, again, a void that needs to be filled in a space that oftentimes isn't completely clear of mind, right? You're in right. it emotionally. You have so many things to do. There's obviously, especially if, if the passing has been recent, you're dealing with those kinds of scenarios and all of those services. Then, I mean, if there's multiple civil, I mean, there's a lot to kind of kind of take in um, right. to go through those things. Same thing with widows and widowers, you know, who don't want to necessarily have never navigated her closet, doesn't know how to navigate his garage, and then, you know, wanting that support in that way. I think that this is absolutely on the money. I think that Thank this you. is really, really sharp um, and gives you an opportunity to really hone in your skill set, both of your skill sets. Um, and then service your community. So I'm super, super excited about that. Are, do you have all of the mechanisms in place where people can get in touch with you now to be able to explore how to work with you? And if so, what are they? Yes, I do. So my website is estateangelsgroup.com. Yeah. And there, um, it's a very simple website at this point in time. I'm collecting testimonials, as you will, but I wanted something there as a landing page so people can get in touch with me. My name is difficult to write out, right? So there is a contact form okay. that they can fill out on estateangelsgroup.com. And then I get that information and I respond in less than 24 hours at this point, unless it was sent overnight. And then I just respond to it in the morning, yeah. but that is the mechanism. And then I have set up a business page on LinkedIn. And again, I will um, continue to put information out there, but the best place yeah. where I can be reached is a state angels group. And of course, unless someone refers you to me again, as um, other people who I'm working with to spread the word oh, um, my goodness. about my, about my new work. It's just, it's so gratifying. Children. Yeah. I, it really is an honor to work with families to help them go through this process because I personally went through it. Yeah. Right. And to have someone help shoulder that burden is, yeah. is truly a blessing. Oh, and I know that people will be so grateful for not only your care um, and the emotional connection that they will have with you, but obviously your expertise. I think it's an absolute wonderful, wonderful new venture for you. I wish thank you the you. best of luck, and we are here to support you every step of the way. So thank you so thank much you. for joining me. So one more thing, yeah. what I do, what I have found in this work is that every day I am presented with an angel. So I just want to give you that designation today. Okay. Thank you. Thank uh, you, Cheldon, for being my angel today. Oh, um, it is truly 
it is just something that has been happening organically. And I'm not kidding you. Every day I will, I have an amazing conversation like this one oh. and I have to honor you and say, thank you. Thank you for oh. being my angel today. Oh my goodness. I mean, it is my pleasure. We will have more opportunities to stay connected, especially yes as we help you in sharing this new venture. So, so thank you so much for your time. Guys, I'm telling you, the void is filled in this category with my friend. I wanna make sure that you get in touch with her, head over to that website, be able to fill out that content form, get the information that you need in order to be able to make yourself feel absolutely wonderful about organizing yourself um, in the loss of a loved one. Ah, so wonderful. From all of us here at This Is It TV, I'm Cheldon Barlett Rumor, and we will see you soon. Take care.